Hi there, Jacob here from Crayford Snabs. Today I'm going to go through with you the, a fantastic feature on the brand new ZSEV, the iSmart app, and we're going to have a look at it now. Yep. So first thing we need to do is download the app from the App Store on the Apple phones or on Android. You just go to that App Store and download the MG iSmart app. Next thing we're going to do is click on the app, open it up, which will say Welcome to MG. We'll set up the account with either our email or phone. In this example, we're going to use my email and we're going to set it up and we're going to put it in and then get a verification code through our email. And once we've typed this verification code in, we can set up in a password and agree to the terms and conditions and register the account. So now we're going to connect the app to the car. So we're going to simply, once we've registered, go down to the bottom of the screen, which will pop in front of you. If it doesn't, you just want to go on to um, remote control. Once you're on that, at the bottom will be two lock signs, one which is unlocked and one which is locked. You want to swipe to the unlocked, and it will say, will you like to bind to the car now? We're going to bind to it and scan a QR code on the car. So once you've uploaded your account details on to the car, we just want to click on to connect vehicle, go to the top of the page on your app, click on um, MG at the top, and then you'll have a nice uh, page, and at the bottom we'll say add vehicle. You'll have another QR code scan, and it's the right QR code, which is uh, connect the vehicle. Just scan that, and then we just put in a four digit security code, we just put it twice, and once you've uh, done all of that, that'll be your code, your set security code, when you're using the app. So if you've loaded up onto where the car is, with the mileage percentage, as well as a few other features like central locking, which we'll get to shortly. If you go to the top left corner of the screen, the three lines are, and then we go down to the home screen and click on charge and management. On this, you can schedule your charging if you're charging the car overnight, so you can control how much you want to put into the battery as well by just sliding a little arrow below the battery and you can control what percentage you want in the car as well. You can also start and stop the charging as well, so when you wake up in the morning, you can stop it, go to your car and pull the charging cable out without having to worry about it stopping. It also will show you the finishing time if you want it fully charged or to a certain percentage as well as the charging power going into it. So we just talked about the long way of getting to charging management. There's a quicker way. There's a lovely battery percentage on the main screen you'll be using. If you click on that, it'll take you straight to charging management so you can uh, set up your charging schedules as well. So we're going to talk about a feature called Find My Car. Um, if you're not there, just want to quickly find Remote Control, which is on the home page. Or if you're already on the main page, which has the car and the percentage and the mileage, there's a button next to the mileage called Find My Car. We click on that. Um, it'll show you the location of your car. And if you're not close to the car, you can use uh, Route to the Car, which will help you get to your car as quick as possible, whether you're in a city or in the countryside. Another feature is horns and lights, where it will start flashing the horns, the lights, and putting the horns on, so you can locate your car a lot easier, whether that's a car parking place or somewhere in the countryside. Okay, so if you're on the home page and you click on remote control, or if you're on the main page, which has your car and the battery percentage, at the top of the screen, just above the car on the left hand side, is vehicle status. If you click on that, it will scan the car all the way up to 100% and tell you the health check of the car. So it will tell you whether certain doors are open or closed, whether the car is running and the percentage of the tyres as well as the battery voltage and many more features. So the next features we're going to talk about, if you're not there, we want to just go on to remote control, which is the main page. Down the bottom is four features. You have central locking, 
air conditioning as well as your air blower for the entire car as well as a front uh, window demister. Um, you have to have the car locked and turned off for these functions to, uh, to be used. It's because it helps you to cool the car down or warm it up in the winter. To use these functions, you just got to put in your four digit security code you put in when you connected your app to your car. Thank you for watching this video. There are more functions and features on the app for you to explore. Um, if you have any questions or inquiries about the app or the car, please give us a call or give us an email. Thank you very much.